You know, I was watching this vlogger the other day, and I realised that he uses a catchy quote at the start of each video that relates to the video that's about to come up. And you think we should steal it? If you can think of one really quickly. The world is supreme, and yet Caitlyn is absolute. And who said that? Gandhi. Hi there, I'm Michael. I'm Caitlyn, we're 17, and would you just look at who isn't here today? I both proved and embarrassed those tacky pants of her. Ellen has avoided me with such skill, my ex-boyfriend can't even match. <laughs> You're such a bitch. Ellen doubted the Caitlyn and so she got what she deserved. Eight years of the Extended Scholars program gets you places. It didn't get you the place where you could say big words, Michael, huh? where is my skinny frappuccino? Caitlyn, hi. I thought you two solved your issues. Oh, yeah, we did. I was just... Making a joke. Um, I thought it would just be Michael and I shooting today. Ellen just didn't want to see if I was up for this week. Oh yeah, I guess she's a little stirred up about what happened last week. So, Jessica, I'm curious. Has Ellen said anything to you about what happened last week? Maybe admitted defeat to you or asked you to pass on her praise? Uh, no, she hasn't mentioned it at all. I don't blame her. I'd be too embarrassed. Especially after the whole school has already seen the video as well. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. I guess she's just a little shell-shocked. I mean, she's always been the smart one, and she doesn't really know what to do when somebody beats her at her own game. I mean, just imagine if... What are you doing? Just having a look around. Michael, go look in those drawers over there. Uh, hold on, you guys can't go through Ellen's stuff? We're just having a quick look around. That's an invasion of her privacy! I found a diary. I cannot believe someone like Ellen actually writes a diary. You should probably put that away. Oh, I saw my name. Enough with the glasses. February 3rd, 2016. Dear Diary. <laughs> she did not write Dear Diary. Sorry. Today I feel my first idiotic punishment vlog and let me just say that I have never in my entire life had the displeasure of meeting someone as shallow-minded, senseless and snobby as Caitlin Fretman. I could not have described you better myself. Oh, she gave you a mention too. No, please just put it back. Ellen trusted us alone in her house. We shouldn't be abusing the privilege. And even though Caitlin greatly overshadows Michael on the people I strongly dislike scale, his inability to show up on time or even care that he was so late put me into a whole other dimension of fury. That's cute. Caitlin has no respect. Caitlin needs to learn some manners. Caitlin needs to muster enough courage to accept her faults. Oh, the irony. I really think that's enough now, Caitlin. Please just put it... Oh, I see where all the nice mentions go. Jessica is definitely the most humble and kind person I've ever met. She is such a wonderful being and I'm forever thankful she's in my life, helping me to keep me sane in a world littered with some serious imbeciles. She holds no faults bar the fact she constantly follows me like a... Huh. Follows me like a what? Don't worry, it's... Like a what? Just don't worry, Jess. Like, really. She constantly follows me like a pesky fly and attaches onto me like a homeless puppy and gives me no space whatsoever or opportunity to work with creators other than herself. Despite her big heart, Jessica seems to really not notice how absolutely irritating she is. Michael, turn it off. 